Your work is beautiful. How, how far did you travel? I traveled about 20, 2,300 miles from Arizona to be here. Wow. Thank you. Mike. Over this much. Now, you are a member of the Mashpee Wampanoags. And this is the family business. Can you tell me a little bit about what 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 you do and who you are? My name is Joanne Peters. My father, Ed Peters, is an elder, and we make um, moccasins and cedar boxes. Um, all kinds of different little rakes. Fans and dream catchers. Well, your work is beautiful. All of the moccasins, they're all in cotton and sewn. Well, your work is beautiful. Thank you. You have a tremendous assortment of, wor of wares here. Thank you. Beautiful work. Uh, did you travel far? New York. New York? Yeah, how many uh, powwows or events like this will you do? Uh, I guess I started the first week of May all the way to October. Yeah. Almost every weekend. Yeah. We do have a lot of Navajos, Tuskegee, Tuskegee, all different types of crabs. Yeah, everybody puts them out. Well, good luck with today. I'm sure yesterday was a washout. Let's go find you your great work. Okay, we're here at the Cape Cod Natives booth. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what what you have here and, and what you're trying to do? Well, I go to a school in California. Um, it has a ten thousand dollar tuition, so we're trying to raise money so I can go to school. That's great. What kind of school is it? It's a school for martial arts, and I'm trying to bring the knowledge back to the tribe. So I need money to try that. That's cool. That's great. And what are you selling here today? Yeah, we're selling T-shirts, magnets, cards, cards. I didn't see what you was carrying, so I blankets. Right. Do you have a website? Um, not right now. What's your email? In case somebody wants to see this on, on sees, sees this on YouTube and they want to you know get in touch with you. My personal YouTube is lopes.quentin15 at gmail.com. Lopes.quentin15 at gmail.com. Terrific. Okay, well, good luck. Okay, thanks. Thank you. You were doing a nice little bird call there a minute ago. Oh, yeah. Could you break that back up? Great. How many of these shows a year will you do? She can give you the exact amount. Okay. How far have you traveled? No, I'm 26 hours from uh, Georgia. From Georgia? Yeah. And, and Jones Creek, Georgia. What what tribe do you belong to? Uh, I'm Moche from the Moche tribe, from the Incan, under the Incan, uh, and my husband is Mayan. Terrific. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful job. Thank you. Yeah, we're specializing only in Incan and Mayan. Thank you for coming. It's, it's wonderful. Okay.
Thank you so, so much for being here. How, how far did you have to travel? About 1,300 miles. And from where? From uh, just north of Birmingham, Alabama. Wow. Oh. What, what do you specialize in here? Uh, we specialize in, uh, in leather bags, leather uh, products. Let's, no, let's no, start no, from the beginning. Who are you and, and what is your tribal affiliation? Akwini. My name is the Ochebo Pokanoas. That means Snow Falcon. I'm a Pokanoket Wampanoag. We're very old and we're very much crafters and fishermen and uh, painters and carvers. This is alligator. I also powwow all winter long with the Seminoles and the Miccosukees. And I met a lovely man, we call him Gator Guy. And Gator Guy made all these alligator bags. As you can see, they're not green. Alligators are not green. This is the natural color. What else do you have here? Oh, and well, wait, I just wanted to show you. Have you ever seen an alligator hand? That's a big hand. No, yeah. Uh, I sell hair ties. See the doll? Oh, yeah. I sell hair ties. Cheese. Beautiful. So, if you ever get a chance, come on down and see me. I'm at most of the powwows, and Mash is one of my very favorites. Up with me. Thank you so much. Uh, Dan is actually my hunting bird. Uh, I'm actually a master falconer. And when you say falconry, people think of falcons. Well, falconers can hunt with hawks, owls, eagles, or falcons. Each bird hunts in a different style. Now, when I say falconry, this is kind of interesting. Falconry started 4000 BC in Asia. It now encompasses the world. The UN declared falconry the oldest relationship to mankind in a bird. Now it's a beautiful thing. This is what I love about working with these animals, especially a bird of prey. It's because this is as close to nature as you can ever count. And be whether you like it or not, or whether you don't like its manners or the way it looks, we did not create it. It's what right created it. You have to respect it. And I don't know, a lot of people are afraid of spiders and always tell them. Spiders are always six feet from you no matter where you are. It's a beautiful thing. They keep the pesky insects away. They're not out to get you. You know, wildlife really does not want to conflict with mankind, but we conflict with them. And we're just learning now that we can do a better world living with wildlife and protecting the great open spaces, habitats for these animals to live. So I'm going to walk around with Dan. Dan's a first year bird. He's one year old. He came into my possession with a tree hunt. Answers for grand entry. You should be dressed and getting ready for grand entry. Drum roll call will be...
maybe we'll have to start again because they're still washing up. Yes. Yeah. My shop still places them on the beach. Well, you're gonna enjoy the powwow here because everybody's wonderful. The weather wasn't that well. Now we hunt deer. We lost so rabbit, so raccoon. We lost two cats here uh, today. But that's okay because God is good. The Creator yeah. is good. Where we can, oh, I think it was everybody that was here. Our forest lands are. The cats were flying all over. Severely diminished. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, diminished. you gotta watch the dancing. It's going to be such absolutely right. phenomenal. You're gonna enjoy the dancing. Enjoy it. A native culture? Do you uh, have any native blood in you? Yes. What I nation? Do. Penobscot and Sipikin, which Sipikin is actually from Marion, Mass, which is Wampum. Oh, all right. So welcome so to the 93rd. So no, you got to put your regalia on. I got to go put my regalia on, too. We get together every yeah. summer. A uh, little by little. Oh, homecoming yeah. times. You got to show and her the, uh, the nation. People have traveled away from nation. home. She doesn't bring Come back. Your hair is pretty old days nice. they'd say you come home Enjoy to the your day, medicine. walk around and come back again and welcome to Which the powwow. Which actually is a literal, literal Hi. expression. Hi, can, can you tell me uh, who you are, where you're from, and a little bit about, about what you brought? Uh, my name is Estenka. Uh, my Christian name is Rachel Sylvia. I am from uh, Rhode mm -hmm. Island. I'm from the Aztec uh, Nation. I speak Island Spanish Island. fluently, but I don't have an accent. But anyway, uh, what I've been working since uh, last October is my bootstraps. Of my my bootstraps consist, as if you can there see here. Yep. here. I do have them packed in here. One beautiful design, uh, one of the designs that I make are the pretty so ones with the turtles. Oh, yeah. Here, I have them with uh, a bag full of medicine, uh, certain uh, herbs, just, uh, certain bark. With the wolf also. Yeah. Um, I have just a. Uh, so oh, uh, take care of their cough, uh, their There's cold, so their There's so many people that like different designs. Yeah, sure. And I also have. Uh, Problem. For my bikers. They renew their medicine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but back, basically, what I, I've been working on is. Uh, I work every night from say 7 o'clock at night till about 11.30 in the morning and then I say, oh I'm hungry. And then I say, oh my gosh, I haven't slept all night, i got to take a nap. But, this is, <laughs> but these are my dance spells, my native American oh, yeah. dance spells for my warriors and they're absolutely fabulous. Um, we I do have uh, different designs, this is again with the wolves, like which are very uh, uh, creative for uh, different like dancers. I find that sometimes some of our uh, veterans, if they can't use them on, if they're in wheelchairs and can't use them, they use them as armbands. Right. So it's ideal for them, they I love them, and they look absolutely fantastic. Young nephew. It's, a, it's a wonderful shop. Do you travel around most of the summer? Uh, we do go to basically the ones here in New England. Uh, we went to uh, Harvard. We went to Brown University, we went up to and Yale with the past sure. summer. Uh, we'll be going to Narragansett and, and we went into a pizza parlor last night. But uh, the powwows yeah. are wonderful. We enjoy all the people, we enjoy everyone we filled with trepidation. from whatever nation they come from because and they come from the heart. Was and sure our Creator, our Lord Jesus Christ, has sure brought us all together you know, in unity. Humble. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, the medicine. Yeah. Oh, oh you don't have a red shirt on. Right. Thank you, right. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is actually a crown. Yeah. A woman's crown. And that's printed. Yeah. Not really. It's like kind of diagonal. What kinds of things do you bring for us today? You went all the way home. Oh, you want to do an interview? A little, uh, just, just brief. Just a conversation. Um, my name is George Thomas. I hail from the Pequot tribe. Um, what we have here are spare facers. Um, I made some handmade quiver bags. Uh, my sisters do the beaded necklaces and jewelry. We have some silver and turquoise from the Navajo and the Zuni reservations. Um, we have traditional war shields made out of uh, large snapping turtle shells. Uh, I also have uh, a couple of war lances, breastplates, chokers, and a uh, laundry list. Great, thank you so much. Great. You put the little water, you see? Whoa. Yeah, right here, in the blood. Well, the tribe. Can you tell me a little bit about what you brought today? What does your shop specialize in? Inkamaki weaver. Yes. Inkamaki, I am from South America. 
teach us people. Yes. We come in for here to mash be power for like 20 years. Uh, I like it to come in here because I have the good stuff. Henry Weaver, people like it. I make up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Out here. This is a memory quilt of my sister Alice. She uh, passed away in 2011 and this represents all the t-shirts that she created. Her and my cousin Rosie uh, started the business in 1989 so I have the very first t-shirt they did. Every picture on here was a picture in her mind. Right. So what she did was kept it a secret until the first day of powwow when she opened up the boxes. That's when everybody knew what creature was going to be on the t-shirts that year. That's great. Thank so you. So all of these are t-shirts and they were donated by people in the tribe who were saving them. Yep. So that we could make a memory quote for her in her honor. Is someone continuing the tradition? The t-shirt tradition? Uh, my cousin Rosie, he's continuing with the t-shirts. Great. And I believe he actually has a bluebird. Her Indian name was Bluebird. And I believe that's what's on his t-shirts for 2014. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, can you tell me a little bit about what you've brought here today? Today, I am Half Moon, Corinne Moore, Mashpee Wampanoag. These are all my uh, products that I make through the winter. The beaded barrettes, the wampum clips, the leather feathers, some hair um, stick barrettes. Uh, we also have a specialty. These are called stuffed cohogs. And they have wampum coming from them. I made them like a little jewelry box. Oh, and yeah. it has that. The earrings I do. Specialty rings. And you share this booth with your sister? Yes, my sister's on this half. It's maple leaf there. We design the t-shirts, yep. and then we send them out. The, the theme this year is Family Strong, the Family Turtle, Mashby Wampanoag, moving on up. Very nice. We have a choker with some wampum and leather hair ties. We do some bags, some ba uh, headbands, little baby, <laughs> license plate. Got it. Bumper stickers. Beautiful. A little bit of candy for the kids. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jeff. You
Um, and my thinking simply is that um, the common thread that flows through all of us has just been forgotten. And um, again, to remember that, um, we can then choose to honor that commonality that we have and treat each other respectfully. Um, so uh, here's a song that's just about that idea. Uh, can you tell us uh, who you are and, and what you brought today? This is Wampa Magic. I am called Meetog. I'm from Seneca. Wampa Magic. Was about Mr. Harry Wallace, who's a Uncachog. He's the chief of the Uncachog people. And uh, this is his. That the hunter had for the gift that the whale beautiful, was beautiful food. work, absolutely. Yeah. Food and, uh, We're making this uh, uh, video for the uh, Wampanoag tribe. Wampanoag tribe. So we're glad to be a part of their uh, annual celebration and gathering. And so my name is Isaiah Sutter Clark. I'm from Honkatuck Nation, Chief Honkatuck Nation from Long Island, New York. And we have been uh, proud to be a part of this uh, great celebration here this uh, July 4th weekend. So, uh, this, uh, we're Wampum Magic. I, um, when I gather we, uh, from our videos that I might gather, gone, gather part of the Gonquin people to, the woods, to uh, make the market, and produce um, Wampum to do so with, for with love, ceremonial and so with ornamental reasons. With gratitude, so um, for me is the important And about how many shows will you do a year? My, uh, no, my how many shows? Powwows. Powwows. Probably about 10. Pretty good. Yeah. To those who Travel all across the country. Would you mind if I show some of your work? No, not at all. What's this large piece in the, in the middle here? That's a pendant. That's a contemporary style. It's a our, our symbol of our, our flag. It has these uh, uh, emblems here in the center. Is uh, the sun, the whale, the deer, and the turtle in, in the center. Yep. And a piece of corn on the uh, phrase, representing the four directions. I am uh, an artist, uh, and I do traditional construction. I constructed an arbor here for my 13 moves calendar, which I have just been seeing. And I spent seven years painting 13 acrylic paintings for this calendar. And my stand also has my artwork. Uh, and, uh, Actually, I should try to put this in here. Yeah. 13 moons. By all means. 2015 calendar, and it depicts us now and in the near future going from one consciousness to another. Over that year, we're going to change. And, and, um, how would people reach you uh, if they saw this on, on the internet? Um, right now, uh, I don't have a website, and uh, I really, um, I'm looking to publish this, uh, get a major publisher to distribute it, and uh, an agent and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, I really don't want to do the marketing on my own, uh, wide scale, um, but there are ways to get in touch with me. Um, and if you if you uh, looked up Mashpee Wampanoag Drive, they will they will they will be able to put you in touch with you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. What's up, man? Yeah. Melissa. How many people? Yeah, I have.
cars need to be moved. They are improperly parked. Okay, we're going to be welcoming in birds out here for you to get up close and personal with. Yeah. There you go. I don't know. What's happening is you heard by people that are late. They say, oh, what about, is that what about Indian time? Which means about 10 or 15 minutes ago. This is how long. Indian time is one of the five. Thank you.